Chapter 15 The Crossing It was past midnight. The river had risen, its water quick and black, snaking towards the sea, carrying with it cloudy night skies, a whole palm frond, part of a thatched fence, and other gifts the wind had given it. In a while the rain slowed to a drizzle, and then stopped. The breeze shook water from the trees and for a while it rained only under trees, where shelter had once been. A weak, watery moon filtered through the clouds and revealed a young man sitting on the topmost of thirteen stone steps that led into the water. He was very still, very wet. Very young. In a while he stood up, took off the white munda he was wearing, squeezed the water from it, and twisted it around his head like a turban. Naked now, he walked down the thirteen stone steps into the water and further, until the river was chest high. Then he began to swim with easy, powerful strokes, striking out towards where the current was swift and certain, where the really deep began. The moonlit river fell from his swimming arms like sleeves of silver. It took him only a few minutes to make the crossing. When he reached the other side he emerged gleaming and pulled himself. The God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy 136 Ashore, black as the night that surrounded him, black as the water he had crossed. He stepped onto the path that led through the swamp to the history house. He left no ripples in the water. No footprints on the shore. He held his munda spread above his head to dry. The wind lifted it like a sail. He was suddenly happy. Things will get worse, he thought to himself. Then better. He was walking swiftly now towards the heart of darkness. As lonely as a wolf. The god of loss. The god of small things. Naked but for his nail varnish. Chapter 16 